Today is May 23rd, and we're on our 29th day of our Camino, walking through... Molina Seca. And where are we headed to, Nina? Villa Franca de Buerzo. Very good. Uh, we have a, a long day today. I think it's a 19-mile 19 19 mile walk. It's somewhat... It's <laughs> Nobody's awake. Well, they are now. <laughs> it's somewhat, it's somewhat um, not too hilly. Uh, so even though 19 miles is a long way for nine and me, it's still um, not too much of a climb. So a lot of road, I think. Looking forward to a good day. Weather is supposed to be clear with afternoon showers, so no ice showers, right? <laughs> that was a great facial. That was quite a day yesterday, and um, for me, I don't know about you, but it's a day I'll always remember. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was interesting. The lady shoes. Oops. The lady's shoes at the at where we ate. How you look down and they were they were just like your shoes, but her shoes are brand new. It looked like they either. We th I thought at first, you know, what I thought is, I thought she just started walking the Camino, and I thought no, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, whatever. I thought You're I don't not know. Having but very good time. I know, oh. I know, and it's terrible. It's everybody's own personal Camino, but right. then, but then come to find out, you know how. I'm especially I jumped to conclusions. Actually, this poor lady was hurt way uh, way back, and she she Two started weeks ago. yeah she started Saint Jean Peter Poor too, and it was just interesting how I thought you know you can tell a person's what they've done by their shoes or their boots, and that's not true. And you gotta you gotta hand it to her, even though she's hurt, and she may not be walking every time. She's still staying with her friends and still on the Camino, so she's trying to walk today. I think this has to be a reflection. Reflection on what? On my, bad per <laughs> on my bad personality or what? Or my bad thoughts or what? Yeah, that. You need to mind your own business. <laughs> yeah, quit looking at people's feet. I know, I don't care. Like right now, I think my knee is about to poop well, out. But, you know. I need to be looking at the ground so I don't fall down. I know, fall, you're going to do fall a down. face plant here soon. Okay, well, here's a, tell that great story, there's a cross. <laughs> Pilgrim P. Joseph Carthy. Wow. Born 1927. Wow, born 1927. He's as old as my mom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, somebody's nice enough to put that up for him. Bye, Joseph. I thought that was funny. What? Here, these two ladies are there, and they're once taking a picture. We're in the middle of no well, not in the middle of nowhere, but we're out, out in the suburbs. I guess you'd call it. And this one lady's taking a picture of another lady packing her pack, and I asked her if she wanted me to take her, do her together with her friend's picture. And then they go, no, and they look kind of embarrassed. And I don't know why, but all of a sudden, this other lady, the third lady, comes crawling out of the bushes after going to the bathroom. So I think they were trying to get rid of us because the other one was, was indisposed. Okay, we have a decision to make. Should we take the old road or the new road? Let's take the old road. Okay. What do you got down there, Nina? Huh? You don't know because you haven't been there yet, have you? No. It's I kind of a dumb the question. What the, the sign was so rusted. Where's this? Where are we? Do you remember? Campo? Campo? Wow, look at this. You know, you walk along and I don't think anybody's living here. Except a tree. A tree and a bunch of birds. On one side of the street you have this. And the other side you have this. I hope nobody lives in there. This would probably be called... Look into somebody's window and you can get thrown in jail for that, I think, around here. Hola. You guys from Ireland, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Bob, Bob, Bob yeah. you got a great memory. You? I'm doing good. I had to run to catch up with you. Yeah. <laughs> how, uh, how was your day yesterday? First day on the Camino, right? Yeah, yeah it's pretty good. good. Yeah? Yeah. I see your legs got sunburnt in the back. <laughs> oh, yeah. You've probably you been told burn. that all day today, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It sounded bad to some, some of the other guys, though. <laughs> yeah. It was funny how it was real overcast, but you still could get burned yeah. up there. So. Yeah. yeah. So good. You're here from school, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Try to keep ahead of the teachers, you know. So that's a good idea. They get really competitive. You know, that's a good thing in life, too. I always try to keep ahead yeah. of the teacher. That way you don't get... I'll, no. I'll think what they think, all right? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, I don't, I don't know what this is. What do you think, Nina? I think it's a track for uh, show dogs. Well, it could be show dogs. But my guess would oh, be it's for car. remote control cars. Maybe, but now nah, it has to be remote control cars. You can travel all over the world and people have the same interests. Okay, so we just had the remote control car track. Now what do you think this is? I think it's uh, for remote airplanes or something like that. I think you're right. I think it's for airplanes. Just want to see what you say. Yeah. Don't we go away? Yes, please. You gotta turn the music up. Huh? You gotta turn up your music. I could uh... hit me with a walking <laughs> six. Got my weapons in place. All oh, right. Yeah. All right. Not kidding. Oh sure you are. <laughs> I think one of the biggest regrets that Nine and I have is that with the Camino. You don't have time to really stop and, and look at all this stuff like, like what's this called? The Castillo de Templarios. And what city are we in? Oh, that I don't remember. It starts with a P. Oh, Ponce de Yeah, that's it. So anyway, I think if we ever did this again, or in hindsight is great that it would have been nice to build in more rest days. And again, that gives you more time to be homesick, doesn't it, Nina? Yeah. So. Anyway. More yeah. fun in Madrid. Yeah. <laughs> well, hello. Hi. It's a pretty cool clock tower, huh? Yes. Yeah, clock tower, bell tower. The Templar Town? Yes. What, the Templars were very active here or something? Here's the guys in the barber shop. All waiting for their haircuts. Hola. Hola. It was humid in there. Almost like a men's gym or locker room. Okay, we just left the, uh, actually it was almost like a city. We did. It almost was like Carpinteria, but that wasn't with <laughs> Cupa, Cupertino or uh, Latte Mocha or I don't know what it was. But anyway, um, now we're back in the vineyards again, which is kind of a... It's very beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's a pleasant surprise. Rolling hills of vineyards. You still can hear the trucks on the, on the freeway. Yeah, but we're leaving that part behind yes. us right now. And guess what? Speaking of freeway overpasses, guess what my new hobby is? I have a new hobby. The, huh? I have a new hobby. Guess what it is. What is your new hobby? When I go over overpasses, I stand up there and wave until somebody waves back. You know oh, how long good. it takes? Well, 
if I'm in uh, Santiago and you're still there, I'll know nobody honk. No, no, no. It takes about one second because everybody will wave at you if they think you're a pilgrim. I think they, I don't know what, I think they feel sorry for us or, or something. Or else they think you're going to jump off the freeway overpass. Well, I haven't had that thought yet, but <laughs> I'm sure, oh, sorry. I'm sure we'll not do that today. I hope not. Okay, we have. You have the money and the passport. Yes. It's about three o'clock and we have another nine miles to go. <laughs> and which, I called the. I called the place and said we might be rolling in about seven o'clock. She says, no problema, no problem. So if we stop and eat again, be our third time I think today. If we stop and eat again, that will make it past seven. Oh well hey. Lucky the sun stays up here until about eleven. So uh oh. Buen camino. It's got ran over again. Oh well. Everybody has their own camino. You know what? I only take nine to the finest <laughs> eating establishments. Here I sit down with a nice view of a nice great cafeteria on a curb. And this man here is fucking my view. Decides to take up my view with his truck. Then I figure out there's a gutter that's spewing gutter <laughs> smells under me. And also we have the view of the local uh elderly store behind us that sells diapers and adult items older adult items but we're having a great time here in Carpinteria no it's called Cacabelos Cacabelos oh Cacabelos okay I think Ricky Ricardo's in there no but it's a Roman uh, it's a Roman town oh and then, not as nice as the buy me a donut the last, or whatever this is. I did, I surprised him. Yes. I got him a treat. And I'm pooped. It's been uh, 13 miles? Yes, 13 miles. With six to go. I think after I drink my, oh, my soda and my Boca de El Chocolato <laughs> with chocolate sprinkles on top, maple bar, <laughs> I'll be done. Okay. And we've, how many more miles and do we have? Uh, six more now. And I found a special deal on Cokes. If you get them out of the vending machines, you get a whole bottle for 1.5 euros versus... This thing's really starting to stink down here. What's in there? Maybe they can tell me what's... What's in there, guys? Don't drop your camera. Oh, okay. Just love if you could tell me what's in there. Okay. Not Adios. For the, not for this silly, silly I mess. think we're in Batuli. No confirmation yet. We don't know exactly where we are. No one out. Nobody yeah. out. Maybe they heard my singing before and they all head for the hills. Yep, nothing happened in Valtuli. Except here comes a tractor or something and run me over. Oh, it's a band. 